Staying on the topic of creating jobs and revitalizing the economy, the government is now focusing on pushing up investments and fostering new growth engines. Huang Jie fills us in on the follow-up to the measures designed to boost the service industry earlier this week. By 2030, the Muslim population worldwide is forecast to stand at more than 2 billion. With that, the related halal industry combined with the Jewish kosher market is expected to grow fast to the tune of around $9.5 trillion by the year 2020. And to cater to this burgeoning market, the Korean government has designated the halal and kosher industries, which include food and cosmetics, as promising fields that can lift the growth potential of Asia's fourth largest economy. This came as the government laid out a set of measures to fire up investment sentiment among businesses on Thursday. It pledged to foster four other sectors, including the pet business, virtual reality, and the sports industry. The plan includes a push for legislations targeting the pet sector, setting up a virtual reality cluster in western Seoul, and operating institutes to analyze halal culture. Some long-stalled investment projects will get the green light as well. The government has come up with solutions to pave the way for corporations to speed up five investment projects that were halted due to regulations and a lack of infrastructure. By cutting excessive red tape, the government expects 3.6 trillion won, or roughly 3 billion U.S. dollars worth of investments to be made across the country. Experts say the measures will most likely have a positive impact on improving business sentiment, but it's questionable whether they will lead to actual investments. I believe there are less than 10 local companies that have the room to make investments. And most of them are large conglomerates that make these decisions based on market conditions rather than government stimulus measures and deregulation. The analyst adds there is a silver lining for demand at home and abroad considering the fast pickup global financial markets have shown after Britain's decision to leave the EU late last month. Huang Jie, Arirang News.